Look what just came in, it's the first barrel and blade box for 2023. So if you're into tactical survival prepping gear and stuff like that, this may just be the subscription for you. So let's pop the seal on this thing and see what we got. What's up guys, Eric here with That Home in the Future and I'm back with another Barrel and Blade unboxing. So if you're unfamiliar with Barrel and Blade, really cool monthly subscription, comes in two different levels. There's a level one, it's about 50 bucks a month. Level two, with, which is what we do on this channel, which is about a hundred bucks a month. Uh, really cool gear every month. They also have a knife of the month subscription, so check those out on our channel too if you're into that sort of thing. If you wanna get this box for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down the description. Uh, but like I said, this is the very first box from Barrel and Blade for 2023. Uh, and I'm pretty curious to see what we got inside this month. I never know what's in these. I seem to stay away from spoilers with these, so that makes this extra fun. So let's open this up and see what we got going on here. Here's some goodies already. Let's dig around and see if we can find our card. We'll get going from there. This is Operation 67. And there's those two levels I talked about earlier. Level one on the right, level two, which is what we got here on the left. So let's kind of work our way down the list. I may move this stuff over to the side so we can get a better look, but let's get going. And we'll start off with the Kershaw Turan, which is a knife, it sounds like. So digging through, here's our box. Kershaw seem to always have the, kind of that same branding no matter what you get from them. So let's pop the seal. I'm not familiar just by name with what blade this is. All right, I like the profile of this already. So here we go. You can see some cool scales here. Got kind of a, a rad kind of scale pattern there. A deep-ish carry clip, so it looks like a little bit will poke through the top there if you're carrying it in a back pocket or something. A little flipper tab. Uh, let's see. All right, I can't tell from first glance if that was assisted. It does feel like it does have some assist on it. Uh, a little frame lock there. Really cool. I like the shape. I like the size. Let's see, a blade still. We've got 8CR13 MOV. Let's see what we need to know about this. So we got a 3.125 inch blade. Basically it just says it's a nice EDC knife, which I agree with. I like the lines on that. Uh, just a little bit of a drop point there in the front. Uh, I like that the, the choil kind of comes down a little bit there from the flipper tab. Uh, really just about the right size. Sometimes these Kershaws really just feel right, especially for the budget these guys are. This thing is a $60 knife, uh, really nice lines. You know, I can go back and forth on being a frame lock guy, uh, but I really like this. Nice jumping on the back of the blade. Uh, really nice knife in this month's box. So that is cool to see. I'm not sure. I think it's just plain Jane stainless steel in the handles, but it still feels really light. Um, and Kershaw's assisted stuff, even to have a knife about twice this price, I think it's called the Launch 11, uh, which is a full auto, but their assisted stuff is really smooth too. I really like that flipper. Yeah, this is a really fun one, guys. All right, so that's a cool start. So that's the Kershaw Tehran, or Terran. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, uh, but there it is. So a $60 knife right off the bat, super cool. Next up, we have the Snug Pack Jungle Bag for 79 bucks. Let's open this thing up. I saw it when we opened this up. All right, what is this? Is this a sleeping bag? Is it, I saw something about mosquitoes. You know, I'm gonna use this knife here to open the plastic. All right, so we'll look here at the end of this thing. It comes in a little, little stuff sack. We got our tag here. You can see some stuff down here. So it is a sleeping bag. So that's pretty cool. This thing is small and light. It says a jungle bag with a built-in mosquito net, rated for 45 degrees outside. So definitely a warm weather bag, but 32 ounces compressed, 87 inches long, 31 inches wide. I like, for a change by the way, that it's not a mummy bag. Uh, the mummy stuff is nice. I get that you wanna pack down small into that, but sometimes I just like to sleep straight where I don't feel like I'm totally all bunched up together. Paratex antibacterial stuff on the inside. Cool. So let's check out our card here. So we've got a lightweight performance sleeping bag, perfect for camping and bugging out in tropical conditions down to 45 degrees. So yeah, it features a rollaway mosquito net, which can be zipped over the face. So for me, I'm not a big uh, warm weather, like outside camper. We have like a, a pull behind trailer camper that we sleep in and stuff, which I know doesn't really count for camping, I feel like. Uh, but as far as like tent camping and stuff like that, it takes a lot to get me outside, unless it's like a weekend getting to hang out with the guys or something, but bugs and mosquitoes just make it gross. I prefer like spring and fall camping is more of my thing. But I think it's pretty cool that it's got this built-in stuff. I wonder, you know, let's open it just a little bit. I'm not gonna open it all the way because you wouldn't be able to see it. And sometimes stuffing this sort of stuff back in these sacks can be a pain in the rear. Maybe we can get a quick sense of the fabric and feel of this thing. Okay, so that's about as much as I'm gonna take it out in this video here, but it's cool, kind of a black, thin fabric. Just a very small amount of insulation, just enough to keep you warm or take the edge off. 
I'm kind of curious about the mosquito netting. I'm gonna have to check that out after this video, but uh, pretty rad. That's kind of fun. I didn't expect to see something like that in this month's box. So that is neat. And a product I haven't really seen before. Something that's kind of almost a bug out bag kind of sleeping bag. That's pretty rad. So that's the Snowpack Jungle Bag worth 79 bucks. And again, this is a $99 box. So between that and the knife alone, you're already at, what, 140 bucks worth of value. So that's awesome. Uh, next up, the Flitz Tactical Gun and Knife Care Kit. So Flitz, I feel like, is knit legendary in the uh, tactical world for keeping your gear nice and uh, clean getting all the grit and grime off stuff and keeping stuff in tip-top shape. So we've got a few different things in this kit. We've got a ceramic gun sealant, kind of a microfiber cleaning cloth. Looks like a fairly big one too. That's cool. A matte finish cleaner, I guess to keep the shine off your stuff. That's neat. And of course, some good old flits. So metal, plastic, and fiberglass polish. Anti-tarnish formula lasts up to six months. This stuff has a pretty awesome reputation. So there's your run down the front. I kind of missed that when I pulled it out of the box. So get rid of rust, fingerprints, powder residue, all that stuff. We've got the sealant here, has nanotechnology, and creates a ceramic shell coating with protection for up to a year. No, will not gloss or shine. That's always awesome with this stuff. And a nice microfiber cloth and tactical mat cleaner. So lots of stuff for keeping your blades, keeping your firearms all nice and clean. Uh, this stuff should be already in your workshop if you don't have it already. Uh, now you got a pretty awesome starter kit with a good selection of all the Flitz products. So that is cool to see, a good product, exactly the type of stuff you expect to see in barrel and blade, so I like that. Next up we have a fire beaner, a multi-tool fire starting carabiner. These things are super fun, super cool. I actually have one of these that I keep in my little toolkit, um, which just, just at a glance, by the way, this thing is rated for 100 pounds. Normally when you get um, carabiners, uh, especially stuff you're putting your keys on, they're just like little cheapos, can hold one or two pounds. I'm actually kind of surprised that this is rated for a uh, heavier weight like that, but you get a lot of different tools in this thing. You get a little wire cutter, a bottle opener, a tiny little flat edge there. Of course, it's a carabiner, um, and then you get a few other little things down here. But also you get this little spark wheel, which I think I'm going to take the plastic out of this. They've got it nice and protected. But when you spin this thing, it's kind of like the striker on a Bic lighter. So it'll throw sparks. There it is. Well, you saw it for a second. I guess we'd have to take it out to really show it off. But it'll throw sparks whenever you need it. Kind of like having a little mini ferro rod with you. But really handy, especially if you like to do some more primitive fire starting. Or, like it says here, great for camp stoves if it doesn't have a little plesioelectric lighter. Uh, super handy for that. And the cool thing is it comes with a tiny little replacement ferro rod. Isn't that funny? This is tiny little rods are built in down there to create some sparks. So super cool little product, really handy. I've enjoyed having one of these in the past. So fun to see that. And then last up, we got one more thing in the list. Looks like maybe from the same company. We've got a wombat whistle kit. Let's grab this. So we've got a little survival whistle. It looks like it has some tinder in there too. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So let's pop this thing open and take a look. These are like the kind of keychain tools that sometimes keychain stuff is just totally worthless. Some of this stuff is actually pretty handy. I'm gonna pull out this tinder too. So we got three pieces of this little tinder, so a good little starter kit. We've got a whistle. Hold your ears, I'm gonna try it real quick. All right, so I barely blew on it, and you can see just how loud that thing was. But it also has a little storage compartment. I wonder if it has like an o ring. Yeah, so it's got a little o ring seal on it too, so watertight. But it looks like you can just pack this tinder down in here, get it nice and squished down in the compartment. Actually, probably have to work it into the top of that case there. Yeah, so I've got that all in there. And then just tighten that up, and you have, if I can get the, <laughs> the O-ring back on there. There we go. So we've got nice and sealed up, so you got dry tinder that weighs no extra than it did just without it. And a little, uh, I guess, aluminum whistle there. Uh, so pretty cool. Whistles are great. You wouldn't think like, okay, it's great to get people's attention and everything, but it's a survival item, surprisingly awesome. They have a ton of different uses, but especially if you get hurt, if you get injured somewhere, or you're trying to get somebody's attention, these are much louder and your ears kind of lock onto the sound a lot easier than hearing somebody yelling. And it takes a lot less energy to blow a whistle over and over than it does to yell and scream and make yourself go hoarse. So super useful uh, survival item. Also just fun to have, fun to mess with the dogs and everything too, but uh, cool. So that is this month's box for Barrel and Blade, Operation 67. No theme this month. Sometimes they have themes, sometimes they don't. I'm not sure the rhyme or reason there. But we've got this whistle vial kit, fire beaner. We've got this really cool flitz kit with everything you need to take care of all your gear, different uh, cleaning elements and polishing stuff. 
we've got this really rad sleeping bag with a built-in mosquito net, a product I don't think I've ever seen. I didn't even know existed. So that's fun to see. And a great Kershaw this month. Let's see, what was it again? The Kershaw Terran, the 2080. Uh, really fun EDC blade. Um, yeah, I'm gonna carry that thing. That's a great, more budget-sided knife, but a great knife. Uh, really confident lockup and everything too. So fun to see all that. So if you wanna get the subscription for yourself, like I said, follow the link on the screen or down the description. This is a really good one, a really good value every month and an interesting mix of gear that's different from all the other boxes I get. So I really appreciate that. But that is it for this unboxing. As always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you wanna see more unboxings and cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.